This Japanese ground beef curry is a filling, easy meal prep to load up your fridge with. It's a simplified version of the classic recipe made meal prep friendly and completed using just one pot. I started prepping this one at 937 and had everything finished 59 minutes later at 1036. Each serving has 719 calories and 46 grams of protein. Here's how it's done. Begin by cooking your rice. This recipe calls for 3 and 3 quarter cups or 563 grams of cooked rice. Wash it until the water runs clear and get it started. Next, I chopped up all of my vegetables, starting with one medium to large sized russet potato or 250 grams worth. I cut this into a large dice. If you prefer to peel it first, feel free to do so. I didn't find it was necessary. Next, chop up two medium sized carrots or 150 grams worth. I cut these in half the long way and then chopped them on a bias into thin slices to create half moons. Next up was one small yellow onion or 125 grams worth. I cut this into a small dice. Follow that with three to four cloves of garlic or 15 grams worth, which you will cut down into a mince. And you'll also need one tablespoon or 15 grams of minced ginger as well. To begin the cooking, place a large pot over medium high heat and add in a half a tablespoon or seven and a half grams of oil. Then you can place in two pounds or 908 grams of 85-15 ground beef. Spread that beef across the bottom of the pan to cover as much surface area as possible, and then give it a light seasoning with salt and pepper. Allow this to cook for a few minutes and develop color. Our goal is to render most of the fat out of this so we can use it to cook our aromatics and create our sauce. Once it's ready to turn, you can flip it over to the other side and start breaking up the beef. When the beef is about 90% of the way cooked, you can move it to the exterior of the pan and allow the fat that has been rendered out to pool in the center. Then to that hole in the center of your pot, dump in your onions, garlic, and ginger. Toss these around in the fat and allow them to cook for a minute or two over the heat until they become fragrant. Once they reach the step, you can mix them into the beef. Next, add in three tablespoons or 24 grams of curry powder and two tablespoons or 16 grams of garam masala. Then dump in one fourth of a cup or 37 grams of flour. Traditionally in Japanese curry, you would start by making a roux out of butter and flour, but seeing as how we already have a lot of fat from the beef and in order to keep things simple, we're gonna do it this way instead. Mix it all together to incorporate and then dump in all of your carrots and potatoes. Then add in four cups or 960 grams of beef broth. Stir it all together, scrape up any flavor bits on the bottom of the pan, and allow this to come to a light boil. Once it's boiling, you can toss on the lid, reduce the heat to medium, medium low, and allow this to go for 15 to 20 minutes to cook the potatoes and carrots. When your 15 minute timer is up, remove the lid and test one of your potatoes to make sure it's cooked all the way through. If it can be easily pierced with a fork, you know you're ready to go. Next, add in a half a pound or 227 grams of frozen peas for a nice green color. And for our flavoring, we're gonna do two tablespoons or 30 grams of soy sauce and one tablespoon or 15 grams of Worcestershire sauce. Give that pot one more big stir to evenly incorporate the remaining ingredients and then taste test and adjust the flavors as you see needed. I gave mine one more small pinch of salt, stirred it together and it was ready to go. This recipe was written to make five servings, but if you wanted to split it into six, it could easily be done. I laid out five of my meal prep containers and to each container I added three fourths of a cup of cooked rice or 112 grams worth. The curry mixture then gets evenly distributed into all the dishes spoonful by spoonful until all of it has been used up. Stewy meals like curries are some of my favorite to meal prep because they tend to last better in the fridge over the course of the week. The flavor seems to get stronger after a couple of days of sitting. On top of that, the high water content of these meals allows the microwave to do its job more easily in reheating them and this makes the difference between a freshly cooked meal and a reheated one not all that large. Each serving of this Japanese ground beef curry meal prep has about 719 calories and 46 grams of protein. The meals will last for up to five days in the fridge, and I don't recommend storing any meals for longer than that unless you plan on freezing them. Once they have cooled down, throw on the lids and move them into the fridge. So if you're in search of an easy meal prep recipe that doesn't take too much effort, look no further than this one. A little bit of chopping, browning some ground beef, and then the stove does most of the work for you. I should mention that if you wanted to use chuck in place of the ground beef, that would lead to an incredible product. It will just take a bit more effort and you may have to stew it for longer in order for the meat to be tender. I used the ground beef because I wanted a shortcut. The full written version of this recipe with all the ingredients and instructions listed is published on my website and that is linked down below in the description. If you're in search of other meal prep recipes to try out, check out these two linked on the screen here. Bye.